debut edition of the BNL Coaches Corner. Each week, we're going to meet with BNL coaches and players from their respective sports and highlight their activities as they represent the community and the school in athletics. This week, we're going to start with football. We're going to talk to BNL coach Steve Weather and the three senior co captains as they get ready for the season opener at South Dearborn on Friday night. We'll be right back with coach Steve Weather. Get your feet moving and dance on down to Bedford Ford Lincoln Roush. Our selection, sales, and service are a hit. For the best in award-winning vehicles and quality care, cut loose and visit us today. Welcome back to BNL Coach's Corner. We are here with BNL football coach Steve Weber, about to start his fourth season with the Stars, who are getting ready to go on the road to face South Dearborn in the season opener. Steve, year four. What's going to be different about year four than from the first three years? Well, I think you should see a higher level of us being able to perform our jobs. I mean, we've done this now for four years. Actually, three years. Our first year was something different. But offensively, now it's our third year in a triple option. So all that carryover now is, 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 is paying off for us, uh, especially on the offensive line. They're doing a great job with all their calls. Um, so I, I hope that's what you see on the offensive side. Uh, defensively, I'm hoping our weight training program starts to take effect here one of these days and, and you see us be a lot more physical on the field. So hopefully those are different things. What's, what's the excitement level like for the season opener this time? It's, it's, it's growing. It was way down. This, this, this is a bunch that, you know, you got teams that have different personalities. Some, are, some of them are real jacked up all the time. Some are laid back. This is a real laid back bunch. And uh, by, I can feel it, you know, build as we go. So it's, uh, I, I expect on the field here in a little bit to be really good. You went through your scrimmage against Mitchell, uh, exposed some things to work on. What did you like? What you know, Obviously, there were some things that you didn't like, but what did you overall gain from the scrimmage? First of all, things I didn't like was our, you know, our penalties, our lots of motion penalties. Um, that stems from us not getting to the line set quick enough, being a little lazy getting there. So we worked really hard on that. Um, ball security was, was poor. Now, a lot of that ball security problem was due to good things, kids trying to get extra yards. They just need to learn how to high and tight and double skin in traffic. And again, we worked really hard on that again. Um, I, th I think it, it exposed a, um, a level of laziness that these guys have had in practice. And so we've tried to escalate that. Some good things, I saw some, uh, saw some good things out of the QBs. I got three of them rotating there and some good out some and some bad out some. Um, I thought the offensive line did a pretty good job um, with, with blocking what they were doing. Uh, split ends, wing backs, we need some, some work on the outside. Uh, defensively, I saw some good things when we lined up correctly, which was not, not often. But I uh, saw some good things, bad things like you would in any air scrimmage. And uh, the bad things we addressed and worked hard on. You're coming off a 5-6 and six season. Uh, you've improved each year that you've been here so far. Uh, what, to continue that, what must you guys do this season? I'll stay healthy for one. Um, we're a little deeper, I think, in talent level we have been. Um, we've got a lot of guys that are about the same, but we're not real deep in numbers, you know. And so when you have one key injury, it causes us to have to shift a lot of people around, and which normally wouldn't be a problem. But a lot of these guys that I have now didn't play last year and didn't come out in the summer a whole lot because of baseball, basketball, things like that. So they're just now getting comfortable where they're at, and if I have to change them to make up for an injury, it's tough. So that's Also, you lost a lot of key people from last year in key spots. So some new faces that you're working in. You mentioned the quarterbacks. Right. Uh, what are some of the other key areas that you're looking for? You know, for people to step in and and, and kind of take that hold of that their position as their own. Right. You know, both both inside linebackers are, are new. Um, they're they're senior kids, uh, but they didn't play last year. Um, that's huge, huge for us. Uh, as far as the secondary goes, outside backer position, we're good. I think we're the best we've been in, in, in quite a while. And uh, the defensive line, um, the guys have been here. But again, we're trying to get them to play the low pad level, getting off the ball. So right now, the key, to be honest, the key is the linebacker position. Um, that, and then make sure our linemen get it. If, if our linemen are going to be subpar, those linebackers got to be something else. And they're just not that yet. So I need to get the line and speed it up. Uh, the triple option, you, you, know, you mentioned this is your third year with it. The kids have to be comfortable with it now. So what can we expect even better from it this year? Yeah. <laughs> it's, that's hard to say. Um, you know, each game is different. Depends how the teams defend you. What you know, what they think is your biggest threat, and they try and take that away. So each game's a little bit different. Um, I know last year, New Albany, uh, we weren't quite ready for what they threw at us, and um, some of the three-three teams, you know, and, and it shouldn't. And the offense is really solid versus three-three, but um, our, our knowledge of how to block that front 
although we rep it, it wasn't good enough when we saw it and we weren't expecting it. That makes sense. But now there should be no front that these kids see that that causes confusion. They've rep it enough times. Going on the road for the opener at South Billboard, a team that Bino hasn't seen for a few years. Uh, you have to be excited about that, but also it adds an element of mystery. Uh, so what can we expect uh, at South Dearborn? I think it's going to be a, a, a good, hard-fought game. I really do. I just talked to Coach, and they're young as we are. they got some guys that have not played a whole lot. He lost a lot of people just like we lost a lot of people. Um, and they, they want to start off on the right foot like us. So you know, both teams are going in knowing that to get the season to go the way they want, it has to start now with that win. So I think both are going to be desperate. I think you're going to see uh, – each team leaving on the field, and um, hopefully uh, we're the ones to come off with the W. But it's, I think it's going to be a good game. All right, Coach, thanks a lot for your time. We'll be back with the BNL Senior Captains in just a moment. Get your feet moving and dance on down to Bedford Ford Lincoln Roush. Our selection, sales, and service are a hit. For the best in award-winning vehicles and quality care, cut loose and visit us today. Welcome back to BNL Coach's Corner. We're here with the BNL Senior Captains, Joe Jackson, Andrew Scarpellini, and Austin Jovanovich. The BNL Stars getting ready to go on the road for the season opener at South Dearborn. Guys, as seniors, and Joe, we'll start with you. Uh, mm -hmm. A lot of experience that you guys bring to the table. How can you translate that to the team success this year? Well, I think um, just like knowing our limits and knowing what we're supposed to do, uh, the parameters of the positions we play, just um, playing what we're supposed to do, doing our jobs, and it, it's to get, to, it'll come together, um, I think we'll be solid. Andrew, you, you played uh, three games last year before you got hurt yeah. uh, and missed the rest of the season. Your excitement level for this year has got to be off the charts. Oh, yeah, extremely. I'm just ready to play. Ready to hurt some people. <laughs> Not physically, I guess, but more mentally, knowing that B&L was there. And Andrew Scarpellini was there too. He's ready to go. What did you miss the most, and what did you learn from watching from the sideline that you maybe didn't learn on the field? Uh, don't take anything for granted. It was kind of like being a senior a little bit. It felt like, but I got another year to come back. It was just all your passion and love for the game didn't mean anything whenever you got hurt, and it just sucks watching your team succeed without you. But it's bittersweet because they're succeeding. Austin, what about the leadership that you guys need to show for this team? A lot of new faces in, in some key spots that are going to rely on you to show them, you know, kind of show them the way. How do you do that? Uh, intensity in practice, definitely keeping keeping it upbeat. You know, letting them know. You know, especially even when we leave, that they know how to do it, and really just correcting him, the younger kids whenever they're wrong, letting them, you know, jump in, get uh, get time to play. And practice and everything, and it just it just helps. Your aggressiveness on the field, you you flick a switch when that happens. Uh, what happens in your mind, you know, to get you to flick that switch and become a hitter on the field? Uh, well, it's just as soon as you step on on this field back here, everything changes. You know, nothing else matters except what's on the grass. We've talked about legacy. You guys have been part of the program now for four years, and each year under Coach Weber, it's gotten better. What kind of legacy do you guys want to leave as seniors, Joe, uh, for people to remember you later on? Um, we want to leave a legacy of that we can handle adversity and be not only handle it, but be successful with it and uh, show these kids, and, you know, um, well, ourselves too, no matter what you're dealt, just to, to make the best of it and be as successful as you can. Andrew, what about this season? Any goals that you have set as a team or any expectations that you have coming in? Uh, you're, you're starting off with a couple of new uh, opponents, and then, of course, you got the HAC schedule. So what about the goals that are coming in? Um, I think it's just have a winning record, win conference, and anything past that, we'll take that too. Uh, what about the new opponent? Uh, South Dearborn on the road Friday night, a team that BNL hasn't seen since, I believe, 2009. Uh, so know very little about them. So how do you approach going on the road to face a new team like that? Well, you got to be prepared, obviously. So you got to watch film. You got to be ready for what they're going to do. Just being prepared more than anything. Just ready to go. I think it's more of a team thing than you know watching film now. But I think we got all the bugs worked out. I think we'll be good. Austin, the scrimmage. What did you guys learn? Uh, there were some good points. There were some s struggles. What did you learn from the scrimmage? Uh, we definitely learned that ball security is key and we need and we learned that uh, 
we have to be mentally prepared before we come into the game, or else they're going to come out and hit us in the mouth, other than vice versa, us do it to them. Joe, what about the season opener? What do you go over there expecting, and, and what will make it a success for you guys? Obviously winning, but but what do you need to accomplish? I think um, we know what they expect um, uh, game plan wise because our coaches, you know, we've, we've watched film and we've gone over and practice um, kind of the, the looks we're going to see. So I think we're prepared there. Um, we just need to be prepared mentally. Um, but yeah, I think you can't you can't go into a game underestimating a team, and I think we come out. Our minds right, and we make the first move. I think we'll be all right. Andrew, last question: What will make this season a success for not only as a team but as seniors? What will you have to do to be as successful? Um, that's a good question. Maybe winning conference for the second time ever, going on, having a winning record for the first time in a long time, and just enjoying it, just having fun, having a good time with your friends, and competing your, you know what off. Do you have you guys ever lost that passion for football? Is it something that you you know that you'd never have to worry about? And, and will you take that with you, you think? Always. Oh yeah. It's definitely Always grown. <laughs> the four years uh, varsity level, especially, it just keeps growing. Yeah. All right, guys. Thanks for joining us. That's the BNL senior captains, and we'll be right back with more of BNL coaches corner. Get your feet moving and dance on down to Bedford Ford Lincoln Roush. Our selection, sales, and service are a hit. For the best in award-winning vehicles and quality care, cut loose and visit us today. That wraps up the first edition of b &L Coach's Corner. Join us each week at Pizza Hut as we record and interview the coaches and the players. Join us for the Pizza Hut on Bedford on 16th Street, and we'll talk sports, we'll have some fun, and maybe grab a little food. Until next week, thanks for watching.